when I was 10, I had the opportunity to name JAXA's, one of the JAXA's lunar probe called Selene or Kaguya in Japanese. Kaguya is taken from the name of the moon princess of an old Japanese story. As a result, I got this badge of Kaguya from JAXA, which I'm wearing today. And it was the best thing that could happen to an elementary school kid. Since then, I've felt close to the moon, and this is how I came to love everything related to space. But before attending university, I thought space was like a dream, and only limited people can get involved with. Soon, I realized this is not true. Everyone has the opportunity to be involved in the space industry, and this is what I want to talk about today. When you hear the word space, what pops up in your mind? <laughs> Japanese. Is it, is it something related, related to universe, Milky Way, or rockets? Humans have been wondering about space from ancient time, but they started building space technology during World War II, and they had a first attempt to send their satellite in 1957, which is about 60 years ago at dreams of human intelligence. Since then, space technology has been evolving exponentially. Probably you take it for granted or you don't realize, but in our daily lives, there are so many space applications. Let's start with a very familiar example. What do you use when you get lost? Google Maps, yes. Google Maps. This application has become ubiquitous in our daily lives. Whenever you want to go from point A to B, but you don't know the direction, you just open the app in your phone, and Google Map will happily guide you. Differently, something our parents could not experience a couple of decades ago. And celebrated augmented reality game, which was launched in 2016, Pokemon Go, uses geographic information from space you also utilize space technology by weather forecast. This is made possible thanks to the imagery and observation from the space. As you can see, in your daily life, there are so many space applications. I began to participate directly to the development of space technology when I joined the Space Robotics Lab at Tohoku University as a third year student. My laboratory collaborated with space startups in Japan. What do you wish when you see a shooting star? <laughs> I wish to create my own, and guess what? I've been part of this crazy idea of releasing artificial shooting star for the first time in the history, collaborating with a startup company named AO while developing the satellite during the project. I had a chance to meet the amazing people with interesting ideas. The people I worked with believed that utilization of space for entertainment can be a great business, like a fireworks on a special days. And this is when I could really see that space industry in the future will become something completely different from what we have ever imagined. After all, it meant so much to me that the satellite was launched successfully in January this year. Can you imagine things you designed being in space and orbiting around you? In the future, we will be living in a data-driven society as artificial intelligence is evolving. Artificial intelligence needs big data, therefore satellites come to play an important role. Even today, utilization of space technology is increasing, such as marine industry, environment studies, oil industry, and many other fields uses satellite images to estimate, to monitor, and detect. Even in Japan, space technology greatly contributes to hundreds of natural disasters. As you know, Japan experiences many kinds of natural disasters, 
but it is possible to mitigate the secondary disaster with the help of satellite technology. When West part of Japan experienced heavy rain of July, Heisei 30, which caused floods and landslide a secondary disaster last year. It gave me a chance to create a crisis map to offer people in crisis area various aid locations, such as places for water, food, temporary housing, and bathing, which people desire to know the most. Precise data from geographic information from space will be very helpful for any urgent situation which changes from hour to hour. As you can see, space technology is a wider tool to deal with natural disasters. Therefore, the increasing demand for satellite technology is inevitable. Not only developed countries, but developing countries these they are actively involved in space industry nowadays. This means they will need more people working for the industry, and this creates more opportunity to, from various people to be involved. For example, in 2016, Philippines launched their first satellite called the Diwata One, collaborating with Tohoku University. My colleague at Love worked on energy industry before joining the Diwata project. A satellite obtains energy from its solar cell to operate. People with energy backgrounds were relevant to the project. But not only science experts need it. Take lawyers, for example. When we challenge new frontier, we need to have restrictions to care for the environment. And these days, um, due to increased demand of launching satellites, governments are setting up new restrictions to control the number of orbiting satellites in an effort to avoid space debris. Therefore, we need lawyers to help set up these new guidelines. As you can see, you can jump into the space industry even if you start from a different field. Maybe in the future, we will need a hairstylist when we colonize the moon. Um, since it is inevitable for International Space Station to retire in the 2020s, space agencies have started to plan to utilize the moon going forward and eventually send a human to Mars. Everything we need on Earth will be needed in space in the near future. Actually, you don't even need to wait for that chance. You can create your own. These days, private companies that work in space industry are proliferating. A well-known example is SpaceX. It is a space transportation company which is focuses mainly on creating spacecraft and launch vehicles. And there is even a company named Celestis Memorial Space Flight, which provides a service to have a funeral in space. These new companies create a new niche in space industry and radically changing the industry in unprecedented ways, opening a myriad of new job demands. Definitely, space will be uh, one of your options of job hunting in the future. Seeing the diversity of the people who get involved in space industry made me realize that space technology is not exclusive to the previous only, but it's for everyone and it's all around us. We just need to grab the opportunity. In the palette of space technologies, with all the colors of the cosmos, space is for you, and now's the time to join. Thank you.